Hi, brothers and sisters in Christ. Today I'm going to be sharing with you this important testimony. A sister in Christ had a word from God. She had a prophetic warning from God. And she got an open vision from God. And I'm going to be sharing that with you. And But the sister in Christ also has her own YouTube channel. So after you're done watching this video, please head over to her channel and check out her videos and subscribe. That's the name of her channel. I'll include a link to this channel in the description box of the video you are watching right now. And But before I, before I talk to you about her vision, her word from God and what she saw and what God told her, I want to encourage you guys to go to the comment section of any of my videos. For example, in this video titled, Muslim Man Died, Met Jesus, and Then Converted, if you go down to the comment section, you'll see that I uploaded a long comment that has a bunch of evidence for Christianity. So if you're not a Christian and or if you're a skeptic, please examine the evidence I present. I mean, it has everything from supernatural experiences and visions to fulfill Bible prophecy. Examine this evidence and let me know what you think. If you are a Christian, I also encourage you guys to read this and please spread this. You can print it out and give it to people or you can post it on social media. Also in the description box of my videos, I have a message about the end times and this message is very important and it applies to what I'm going to be talking to you about, about the sister's vision. So now getting on to what she saw and what God told her. So getting on to the vision and the word she got from God. And the thing about this testimony is it's so great. Glory be to God because in this one single experience she got to hear God's voice and she got a vision from him. And when she heard God's voice, God gave her like a prophetic warning. And guys, I'm really excited to be sharing this testimony with you guys. And so the, she, the sister in Christ described this as her first full-blown vision. It happened on the night of November 6, 2012. And it was the night of Obama's re-election. She went to bed and didn't know who had won the election. And she woke up in the middle of the night lay there wishing to fall asleep but she couldn't fall asleep out of the blue she heard god's voice in her spirit she knew it was god the father so this was not a word from jesus christ this was from god the father and the voice w was powerful but at the same time it was comforting and she felt safe she felt like she was being led in on a secret the voice was stern and loud and god said I will judge the nation. And remember, this was on the night of Obama's re-election. When God finished saying that, a light came down from heaven. It was very bright and it had the shape of a cylinder. It shot down to her feet and then she just described like the light went perpendicular or something like that. I don't really want to get into that because pretty much the vision was done from there. And the vision was over very quickly. Now, there's a couple of things I want to talk to you about here that I think is, are very interesting. One, I think this was very interesting that this she received this vision from God on the night of Obama's re-election because God has revealed to me and many other Christians that Obama is the future Antichrist. So I think there's a connection there. And I believe that when she said that she woke up in the middle of the night, she lay there wishing to fall asleep, but she couldn't. I believe that God woke her up. And God prevented her from falling falling asleep in that time period so God could give her the open vision. God could have also gave this similar vision while she was asleep and had it through like a dream vision. But I think God purposely made it so that this was an open vision because when you have an open vision and I mean the effect is so much it's, it's so much more greater and you just feel God's glory. It, it's just amazing to say the least. Because when you're completely awake and when you have a vision, I mean, the experience is out of this world. And I've experienced that. I've heard, I've also heard God's audible voice. And I've also seen God through open visions while I was completely awake. Um, the testimonies will be down in the description box of the video. So if you're interested in my testimonies, check that out. And getting on to what she said, she said that God's voice was very, very powerful and but comforting at the same time. So she felt safe. I mean, I could relate to that because in the vision I had where I heard Father God's voice, I mean, it was powerful. It was very powerful. And like I said, if you're interested to hear about my vision, go down to the description box and find the video. The links are there. And 
And what I like about this is that God actually gave her a prophecy. So to me, this was like a this experience that the sister in Christ had. It was so amazing because she got to hear God's voice. She got a word of prophecy and she saw a vision of the of the light coming down. And the prophecy, like I said, was she heard God's voice and God said, I will judge the nation. So that's a prophetic warning to America, I guess. And what's interesting about this is that this vision was in, and this word from God was was in 2012 when Obama was being reelected. And ever since 2012, I mean, God has revealed to many other Christians that He will He will judge, and I think that's what's going to happen during the tribulation. And God is going to judge the world. So please make sure repent of your sins make sure you're going in the rapture so you don't get left behind for the tribulation because during the tribulation god's judgment god's righteous judgment will come down and this is what i wanted to share about this specific vision and the word she got from god in the future I'll, i'm probably going to make more videos about her testimonies so look forward to that and the link to her channel is in the description box of the video. All glory to God. Thank you for listening. God bless.